Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I'm making a video about Ghoulish. The perk card under endurance. I was asked about it a lot, but there was always something more important that I had planned to do video about. But finally, now we are going over Ghoulish and how to make this card shine. Unfortunately, to get the best out of Ghoulish card and make the build based on this card, uh, you need more than just a ghoulish card. Second card that will be required is Adamantium Skeleton, as if you want to drop Stimpax and don't use Stimpax, don't use Vampire Weapons for healing, then you have nothing to heal your limbs. And of course, if you will be crippled, it's not the way to play the game. With Adamantium Skeleton, you are immune to being crippled. And as well, a perfect addition to the ghoulish card is What Rats. Thanks to this card, you don't need to worry about your radiation as this will be constantly cleared up with this card. Therefore, you don't need to use any radaways, and that's very important. The rat resist that comes in here, it's not actually always a good thing, because to maximize effectiveness of, of ghoulish, you would like to have your rat resist as low as possible. But now into some examples how it works like let me show you first when fighting ghouls. As ghouls have... Oh, someone killed them all. Oh, they in here. I hear them, okay. They didn't kill them all, because ghouls have radiation per hit. Apart from doing a normal ballistic damage per hit, uh, they healing me as well, because they giving me rats. And as you can see, the legendary perk is removing the rats. They giving me rats, what gives me the healing. Therefore, whenever I'm fighting ghouls, I don't really need to worry about anything. And my armor at this moment is mostly broken. Like, chest piece is still fine, but all the limbs are broken. Therefore, there is no resistance from those armor pieces. And I do have a full set of solar armor. Uh, what's pretty nice with ghoulish build, because... The little amount of health that will be missing after your radiation will be healed, will be healed by solar armor. And as you can see, there is no amount of ghouls that will be able to kill me. The more ghouls, basically, the more healing, the more damage and more healing, therefore they still net out zero damage to me. Alright, now uh, let's, let's kill them. And that's my shotgun build. Although it's a sneak build, yeah, it works without seeking as well with this combination. It will be nice if I will have higher endurance. I don't at this moment, but that's fine. That's like six endurance is the minimum. It's really good if you have way more. This is so beneficial for high endurance build. But now what if I will fight different enemies? And when fighting different enemies for healing, I'm using Toxic Goo and I have it on quick button in here. I'm not sure on consoles how fast you can use item from a quick wheel. On the PC I just press 2 on keyboard and I will use it. I don't even need to open quick wheel. But what's important about Toxic Goo, it gives a lot of radiation and there is no other side effects. There is huge bars of radiation that will be healing me because it doesn't matter if radiation is applied by environmental or enemy attacks or food or drink, it all works. Unfortunately, it's not 125 because I have quite high radiation resistance, then it's greatly reduced, but that's still okay. Uh, with all my packs reducing weight, as you can see, it's very light. I can carry a lot of toxic goo. I can easily carry over 100 toxic goo on me. As well, if we now compare it to the steam pack, steam pack is light as well, but Stimpak will have animation whenever I want to use it when I'm not in power armor, what's a huge downside. And Stimpak is not instantaneous, as Toxic Goo is, I will demonstrate in a second. And by the way, if you need a lot of Toxic Goo, here in West Tech there is unlimited supply. Like you can see Toxic Goo for example in here, you can spam R to collect as much as you want, then it's basically free, super light, unlimited then all you really want from a healing item. And now, hopefully there are some super mutants. I can hear them, they are here. Yeah, we have some super mutants. Will be nice if we'll have more than just two of them. 
There are some, not too many. They they struggling to do damage. Let's find more. They're not very effective. Here we're supposed to have more super mutants. Hello, super mutants. Come in here. Oh, nice. They're shooting. They need to do some damage, otherwise I cannot demonstrate the healing. Like, this is one of the things in Fallout 76. It's rather easy to make your character quite tanky and then you have problem to actually utilize those healing items. But now they are doing damage to me and I can use it. I will show you from the quick wheel because on console you probably need to open it. So you can see it's instant healing. And if I use quick button, I can like use three, four, and I'm, I'm healed. It's instantaneous. And then my wood rats is dealing with radiation. Therefore, I do not need to use right away or anything like that. Whenever they do damage, I just press a button and I'm healed. If I want to use step back for a change, like if I use step back, there is animation and there is slow healing over time instead of instant. Then this is how powerful toxic goo is in comparison. Like in practice, I can be shooting and then like I need to use healing. I use quick button and there is no animation. I continue shooting like it's so much better than a steam pack. It does require some perk investment, but it's so much better than a steam pack. Then yes, you can definitely use toxic goo. And if you will par ghoulish with very high radiation resistance and wood rats, of course, you can even go into the nuke zone. And Yuxon will be just healing you as long as you have enough radiation healing to survive. And now I need heal. Yep, instant healing. That's that's what's the best. And legendary mutant slayer scout armor, they know what to drop versus themselves. Yeah, and that's my sneak build. Then if you use this combo on tanky build, of course it will be even better. As that's my sneak build, as you can see, the shotguns with espresso, I should actually have light on and should be sneaking. And then everything is dying correctly, as you can see in here. It's much, much better. And yes, that's the ghoulish card. Healing from radiations. You can be almost like a real ghoul. Unfortunately, you must keep in mind that this card does not protect you from radiation. It only gives you healing that is much greater than the amount of rats you are taking. You will still need to deal with radiation and it's not perfect for like power armor builds. It's still good, but not perfect because power armor protect you from so much radiation that the healing is no longer so great because for this healing to trigger, you need to actually take radiation. That's why what rats, it's so great. It's not because of radiation resistance, it's because of radiation healing per second. The passive radiation healing, what allows you to use the healing effect from ghoulish and then passively remove your rats with what rats. I really like this combo, although it requires some commitment and it will be usually preferable if your build is like role playing a ghoul, then of course this will be a perfect match. In other situations, you can use it, but it comes with a cost. Like you need to have build specifically oriented to maximize effectiveness of ghoulish. As if you will use ghoulish just as a defensive card under endurance, it's still okay, but nothing special to be honest. And that's the video, guys. Let me know what you think about Ghoulish card. Did you ever try it? Did you use it? Do you like it? Maybe you have a ghoul build and you're running around with Ghoulish all the time. Let me know. As I really like it, but only this one character can actually utilize it from all my builds as I choose other perks and other legendary perks for my other builds. Then this is the only guy that can actually utilize it but when you can utilize it, it's really good. And now as always, thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next one.